There are so many other career paths out there that do not require a college degree. So I wanted to take a moment to highlight that. Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel ESP Daniela of where I talk about anything and everything related to education, finance, professional development, whatever it may be. So for today's video, as you already know from the title of it, I will be discussing three apprenticeships in tech that do not require a college degree. Now, the reason why I wanted to put this video together is because even though my content primarily relates to college and scholarships, because over the years I've helped students win millions and millions of scholarships and graduate college debt free, I do know that there are quite a few people following me who perhaps will never get the chance to graduate college, which is totally fine. There are so many other career paths out there that do not require a college degree. So I wanted to take a moment to highlight that. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and transition over to Zoom. Now, if the audio quality seems different, that's why, because right now I am filming from my phone, but when I'm doing it on Zoom, I will be from my laptop. Okay, so this first platform I want to talk to you guys about is called Multiverse.io, and it has multiple tech apprenticeships that do not require a college degree. So if we go to the full eligibility here, it says that you have to be between the ages of 18 and 26 years old, hold a high school diploma, GED, or associate's degree. And again, you cannot have already completed a bachelor's degree. And also, you must be authorized to work in the U.S. So to show you guys some of the perks of being a part of this, if I scroll down here to where it says professional apprenticeship, so it's about 12 plus months learning on the job in relevant in-demand skills. With the apprenticeships offered here, you are learning while getting paid. So if we go to the programs right here that they have and scroll all the way down, as you can see, they have ones for people leadership, data fellowship, digital marketing, software engineering, data literacy, digital business accelerator, project management, and so forth. So let's say that I am interested in project management. So as you can see here, the price is totally free tuition. You're not having to pay anything. And to apply, you will need, again, to have the right to work in the United States, have a high school diploma, you cannot have previously studied the course content. Also, you cannot undertake any other work or schooling during your apprenticeship and you must be able to apply your learning to your role. Now let's say that you are instead interested in software engineering. As you can see, it is about three months longer than the project management role. This one's 15 months. And when we scroll down, it says to apply, you will have to demonstrate an interest in coding through personal, academic, or professional projects. And you can read on your own time the overview for each of these roles to see which one is the best fit for you. So next up, we have Year Up. Now this one is a really cool program as well. So if we go to eligibility here, it says that you have to be 18 to 29 years old. And I like that because these previous programs, it looked like their eligibility was capped at 26 years old. Again, high school graduate or GED, low to moderate income, US citizenship, permanent resident, DACA recipient, or employment authorization card people are eligible for this. Now, one of the key differences between this program versus the other two I'm talking about in this video is that you will have to be within commuting distance of a Europe program. So it's not like completely remote. And it says, although Europe has shifted to a hybrid program model, you must be able to regularly attend in-person days throughout the duration of the program. So you're probably wondering what exact locations do they have? Let me show you. So if I go here where it says in your area, I'll be redirected to this page. And these are all the locations they have. So they have one in Washington, two in Texas, where I am, two in California, Florida, New York, and so forth. So if you want a full list of all the states and cities that they have, just make sure to scroll through this page and see if you can find a location near you. Now, going back to eligibility here, it says that you have to be available five days of the week, Monday through Friday, for the entire duration of the program and be highly motivated to learn new technical and professional skills. And once again, not have already completed a bachelor's degree. And finally, you have to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19 unless you have a medical disability or sincerely held religious belief that prevents you from receiving the vaccine. Now, if we go to here where it says what we offer... It'll redirect you to this page. So Europe's job training program is 100% tuition free, 
Plus, you can earn an educational stipend throughout the program, which basically means that you'll be getting paid to learn. You also have access to an alumni network, which is great for connecting with others and learning from others. Additionally, Year Up does partner with local colleges, so you can earn college credit and can make progress towards a college degree at most of their locations. Furthermore, they can also connect you with housing, food, transportation, and or child care resources. So if you went to that page that I showed earlier that displayed all those different locations that Europe has, and you're trying to figure out how you're going to get there transportation wise and housing. Well, as you can see here, they provide housing and transportation resources that you can look into. Now to give you an idea of some of the pathways you can take with Europe. So they have ones relating to business operations, information technology, aka IT, software development and support, financial operations, and sales and customer support. So let's say that I am interested in cybersecurity. So if I click here, you'll be redirected to this page and it gives you like a full scope of what you will expect with this particular program. And if you scroll down all the way to the bottom here, it'll share with you which particular locations offer that specific training specialty. So as you can see here for, what was this? Cybersecurity, it is available in Atlanta, Charlotte, and Woodbridge, uh, Virginia. And you are receiving hands-on experience at top companies like Bank of America, PayPal, and so forth. And if you go all the way to the bottom of the page here, you can download their training solutions catalog, which will redirect you here. So I highly recommend that you download this and look at it on your own time. And they're also hyperlinked to certain pages within the PDF, which is cool and it immediately redirects you to there. Now on to the next resource that you can look into. This one is called meritamerica.org. So if I go to this separate tab relating to eligibility, so it says that you have to have a high school diploma or GED, but not a bachelor's degree. However, associate's degree holders are welcome to apply for this. It also says that bachelor degree holders are not eligible unless both of the following are true. Bachelor's degree was received over five years ago and your income was less than 35000 in the last 12 months due to unemployment or underemployment. So if you know someone who is also interested in breaking into tech but already has their bachelor's degree and meets this criteria right here, feel free to share this video and this overall information with them. And then moving on with eligibility, it says that you do not have a graduate degree. You are also fluent in English, a resident of the U.S. and authorized to work in the U.S. You will be seeking full-time employment upon completion of the program, and you have access to a desktop or laptop computer that can connect to the internet. So, now that you know the eligibility, let me tell you more about the program itself. So moving back to the home page, let me go ahead and click on find your program. As you can see here, there are several tech courses that you can take, such as IT support, Java development, data analytics. So let's say that you are wanting to do data analytics, which is 16 weeks as opposed to 30 weeks with Java development. So with this program, you're working 20 hours a week, pay $0 up front, only pay after you're making $40,000 or more. Then when you scroll down, it gives you more information about data analytics specifically as to why it might just be the right fit for you. And when you scroll down further, it gives you this a table cross comparing Merit America versus other boot camps and programs. As you can see here, the course length is 14 weeks in comparison to 12 to 20 or 50 to 100 weeks with a community college. This is also completely remote. And as far as how much you would pay once you get your first paycheck that is over $40,000, it would be a max of $5,700. So if we scroll down here to FAQ frequently asked questions and go to what kind of support will you be receiving through this course? So with this, you will receive a career coach, technical trainers, job success specialists, all the these amazing people who can really help you every step of the way towards your career in tech. Now, as far as whether they can guarantee you the job, they cannot guarantee placement or salaries, but they do provide you with a structured training program, professional career development, and dedicated job placement support. And if you read further, it says that the majority of job-seeking graduates are placed in new jobs within three months of graduation. And also it says we can guarantee that you will not pay for this training unless you are placed in a new role more than our success sharing agreements income threshold. And you can read more about it here. So let's go ahead and click here. 
So for example, if you choose the information technology or data analytics programs, you'll make 60 monthly payments of $95 when you land a job making $40,000 or more. And that's pretty doable having it split up with monthly payments instead of paying that all in full if you can't afford it at that particular moment. And then for Java development specifically, you'll be making 24 monthly payments of $350 when you land a job making $50,000 or more. Anywho, that's all that I have for today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and also comment down below with more free or cheap tech resources that you think everyone should know about. Feel free to follow me on my socials. I'm mainly active on TikTok and Instagram and post a lot of helpful content there as well. Also tying back into what I said earlier in this video with me primarily focusing on like scholarship advice. So if you are wanting to basically emulate my strategy step by step to winning 30 scholarships, being debt free for undergrad and graduate school, consider getting my book and or enrolling in my online course. Both will be linked down in the description box down below. And if you are wanting a significant discount on the online course specifically, which also has the book and my services and all this other stuff bundled into it, you can use this promo code here to get it for 25% off. That's it. Bye.